Hello, hello, happy Thursday. I hope everybody is having a great day. I honestly kind of feel weird like jumping on and be like, <laughs> being like super high energy. However, I believe that's what people need at this moment. So if you guys just caught me live, um, I had to log onto the internet. My internet went out um, or my phone drops the internet like crazy. Like, I don't know if it's just like an iPhone thing or whatever, but whenever I'm anywhere in the house, my phone will just randomly drop the internet. It is very effing annoying. So as you guys are watching the replay, drop a hashtag fearless in the comments below. As you're jumping on live, say hi, let me know how you guys are feeling. Like I really, really wanna know how you're feeling. And um, like I said yesterday, whatever you're feeling is okay to feel. Uh, I have noticed that um, with all of these feelings, I'm starting to have my old body image crap come up uh, I made a post about it this morning and I got a really great response. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to jump on here and I'm going to give you guys a training that I did in my wellness studio on body image. And I'm going to give you 10 tips on how you can um, work on, you know, loving your body, work on your body image stuff. And if you're having a bad day, these are all tools that you can take out of your toolbox and you can apply to your life at any time. So, all right, I am done inviting. That's happening to us with the internet here if we're trying to watch Prime. It's like my phone, I don't I don't know. It's like something with my phone all the time. This is nothing new. Um, but I'm sure that there's a lot more people on the internet right now than there normally is. So we will just roll with it. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Ashley. I am a woman's confidence and business coach. I help women unlock their confidence by breaking the rules so that they can love their bodies, their bank accounts, and their businesses. And it is really my passion to help women gain more confidence and feel good about themselves and not beat themselves up to make change. And it really is one of my overall goals is to help more women have confidence so that they can stand up and they can stand in their power, build an online business, share their story, make changes in the world. Like this is something that is really near and dear to my heart. And I know that body image is something that holds so many women back from doing this. It holds people back, it holds women back from, you know, standing up online and sharing what they have to offer. It holds women back in the workforce. It holds women back from going out and dating and doing different things. And, and my overall mission is to help more women feel good about themselves and not having to break themselves down and focusing on weight loss or focusing on all these outside things in order for them to feel good. I want all of this goodness to come from the inner inner work, right? Um, because you have it all inside of you. You have the confidence, you have the happiness, you have the power, you have all of it inside of you. We just have to pull it out. Um, we have to stop looking. And I, and I talked about this in um, day four, the Love Your Body Challenge yesterday, which is in my free community, Living Free and Fearless. If you are needing some kind of like connection right now, get into that group because I'm gonna be offering a few different um, live Zoom coaching calls where you can get on and we can I can coach you or, or we could just chat and just have some sort of connection because I'm really feeling that that's something that is needed today or in this time. So um, I run an online wellness studio. This is basically a studio where we focus on our mind, our body, and our soul. And we look at health differently. We do not focus on weight loss. We do not focus on before and after pictures. We don't focus on any of that. We focus on all encompassing health. And every month I do a training and I wanted to jump on live and do the training that I did for the group last month for you guys right now. So it's on body image. Um, and this is usually only something that I offer to my paid clients, but I thought, you know what? I got such a great response from the post that I made this morning. I know other people are struggling with this. So for me, all of the stress and anxiety started to bring up these old thoughts, these old, um, you know, beating myself up over the way my body looked. I just went down a rabbit hole the other night and um, it, it's, it seems very easy to want to turn your head and go back to dieting or to your old ways. But I know that those ways and those things do not serve me, but these do. So I have a toolbox. I can take out the tools. I can use them when I go through this and I can pivot through this and I want to help you do that. So whether it's going to give you a little bit more confidence, whether if you're just having a bad day and you're not feeling good about yourself, you can take one of these 10 tips and you can apply them to your life. So first and foremost, I want to talk about this. It is very important for you to be gentle and kind to yourself when you're having a bad body image day. And in general, all of the time, we need to start treating ourselves as our best friends, as 
you know, a mother would treat her daughter. We talk, I talk a lot in my group coaching program, More Than a Body, about, um, you know, the inner child and how would you treat yourself as a child when you were a child? How would you do that? This is how you have to start acting toward yourself. We cannot make positive change from a negative space. And so it's very important that when we're trying to make changes in our life, we're trying to um, change our habits, we're trying to feel better about ourselves, that we come from it from a space of love. So be kind, be gentle to yourself. The next thing I want you to re know and hear me out is that not every, and I talked about this in my post, is not every day you're gonna feel good. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. And right now with all of the emotions in the air and everybody taking on everybody's energy, you're probably feeling a little bit like you're on a roller coaster ride. If, if you, you know, if I'm not mistaken, like this is what I'm going through, raise your hand if that's what you're going through. Like literally right before um, I jumped on this call, I was just like laying in bed and just like, I feel so drained. So I made myself get up. I made, and I'm going to talk about this too, but I made myself get up. I made myself get ready. And I said, you know what? What do you have to share with the world? What is something you can share? And this is what I want to share. So you're not going to always have good days. And that's okay. That is human. We aren't supposed to be numbed out all the time. We aren't supposed to be happy, high vibe all the time. We're allowed to have feelings and bad body image days are going to come up. Um, don't judge these feelings when they come up because that just makes things worse. It makes you go into an, a downward spiral. Like I was judging myself for laying there for 30 minutes, but you know what? That just makes it worse. If I can just, if I could have just sat back and say, you know what? I'm just going to allow myself to rest right now and then I'm going to move forward. So not judging yourself for the feelings that you're having will make it easier for you to shift through these a lot quicker. Okay. And always remember this, and this is something that I think is so important to remember right now, is in a moment, this will be a memory. In a moment, these feelings will be a memory. In a moment, this situation that we are in right now will be a memory. I truly, truly, truly believe that it's like, I truly, I, I wasn't planning on talking about um, what we're all going through right now, but it's, it's, you know, the time and, and stuff. And so I truly believe that it's all coming to this place so we can all come out of it better. And I really, truly believe that's what's going to happen. And so if you keep reminding yourself, like in a moment, this is going to be a memory, it allows it to not feel as heavy and allows it for you to shift through it quicker, quicker. Okay. So I'm going to start with the 10 tips. If you guys have questions, let me know below and I will answer them. So number one is forgive yourself for the way you treated your body in the past. This is super, super important, especially if you're just starting on this journey of loving yourself, of self-love or body love or anything like that. What I have my clients do is I have them write a forgiveness letter to themselves. Um, you know, be kind to yourself in the letter. Do not beat yourself up in the letter. This is super important that we always are coming from a space of love and we're always coming from a positive space. So yes, you forgive yourself, write that out. And sometimes you have to do this over and over again. And you, even if you can apply all of these things to other aspects of your life, right? Um, so forgive yourself for the way that you treated your body. Forgive yourself for beating yourself up. Forgiving, forgive yourself for not loving your body like you should. Um, and if once you're done with that letter, I, a really great thing to do is either to burn it, to rip it up, to kind of release it, to let it go so that you can start um, bringing in the love to yourself. The second tip that I have for you is list, after you do that burn letter or that forgiveness letter, list all the positive things about your body. What do you like about your body? What do you have gratitude for your body about? What are you thankful that your body allows you to do? Your body allowed you to have your children. Your body allows you to make memories with your family. Your body allows you to travel. Your body allows you to live this life. I always talk about like hashtag more than a body. That is my signature group coaching program. However, like we also have to love this body. We also have to respect this body. We also have to give gratitude for it because it is what allows us to be on this earth and live the life that we are wanting to live. So write out a gratitude list about your body and what you are thankful for that it, it allows you to do. Um, stop. Okay. The third tip that I have is stop body checking. What I mean by body checking is I want you to stop, first of all, comparing yourself to other people. I know that this is hard. However, 
the, the, the truth of the matter is, is that our bodies aren't number one meant to stay the same. Our bodies aren't all meant to look the same. I mean, hallelujah to that, right? Like I know that diet culture shoves it down our throat saying we all need to look a certain way. We need to have these abs. We need to have these muscles. We need to have all of this, but it's all fucking bullshit. We are not all meant to look the same and we all, and, and, and we should celebrate that. We all should celebrate the fact that we look different than one another. So stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop standing in the mirror and doing like the body check. Like, you know, when you lift your shirt up and you're like, oh, can I see my abs? Can I see this? Can I see that? That is just making it worse on yourself. So stop doing that. Um, throw the fucking scale out. The scale does not determine anything unless you have a heart condition. Unless you are weighing yourself to see if you have fluid buildup on you, there is no reason for you to weigh yourself. There, it do, weight does not equal health. Bottom line, you could be, you can be weigh a lot or or be overweight. I don't like saying that word. Being overweight and be healthy, and you could be underweight and unhealthy. You could be underweight and healthy. You could be overweight and healthy. Get rid of the scale. I promise you, if that's something that you're focusing on, you're going to watch your body, your bad body image days go away as soon as you get rid of the scale. I haven't had a scale in my house since October and it is the best thing ever. Cause I can tell you right now, if I would have a scale in my house on Monday, when I was, ha when I was going down that rabbit hole of, um, the way I felt about my body, I would have got on that scale and I would have made a plan of how I could lose that weight. And then I would have been miserable because here's the thing about it. Until I did this inner work, it didn't matter how much I weighed. It didn't matter what size I was. It didn't matter what shape I was in. I had bad body image days every fucking day. And it's because I was putting all of my worth into my body. So that's a side note. But number three is like, stop body checking yourself. Our bodies are not meant to, th to be the same. They will change. They will fluctuate. And that is okay. That is normal. Okay. Number four is get rid of the clothes that do not make you feel good or that you do not fit in. If you have a clothes that you are waiting to fit into, I urge you to get rid of them now. And what a better way, if you are at home right now, you can declutter your closet, you can sell things on Poshmark. If Marianne, if you are still on, um, will you drop your declutter group below? If not, I will drop it for her. She has a group where she teaches you how to sell on Poshmark. She talks about decluttering your house. And there's a few other things that she um, talks about in there so that you can, you can even make some extra money, maybe to, um, purchase clothes that do fit you. So I want you to get rid of anything that you have any negative vibes around. And you can even go as far as things in your house, things that make you feel bad about yourself, things that just like, even if you did lose the weight and you did get into those clothes, I would rather you buy new clothes that you feel good and, and not be like every time you go in your closet, trying on all these clothes that don't fit you, just get rid of them. Like, it, it's, it's not warm weather here yet, which it, hopefully it's going to be soon. However, I know that my shorts are not going to fit me from last summer. So I'm literally about to go take all of those shorts. I'm not even going to try them on and I'm going to either give them away or sell them on Poshmark or something and get new things that do fit me. Because if I were to go down the rabbit hole of these things don't fit me, it's just, I'm just going to start to beat myself up again. And so we want to set ourselves up for success. We want us, we want to set ourselves up to feel good. I think that this is something that needs to be talked about too. It's like, we are allowed to feel good and we can make sure that we do things that make us feel good. Right. And so if we get rid of those things that aren't making us feel good, we will feel better. I have a, I have sold all my clothes to that were triggering because they were my goal clothes. Yeah, that I think that's I think that's a very um I think that's a it's a huge step for people to make and I can tell you this like every time I would go through my closet before it would be such this um I don't know what that says. Okay. I have um it would be such an emotional experience. I'd be super drained. I hated doing it. And the last time I went through my closet was actually back in October when I completely gave up dieting altogether. And it was actually very easy. And it wasn't, I had I had no emotions tied to any of it. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders as, as I gave all of this shit away from my past. It's kind of like that burn letter when you give up all of those things and you say like, I am ready to see things differently. I'm ready to bring in more love into my life. It's like, it, I got rid of my past. And that's, that's kind of, 
what you can do when you give away the clothes that don't that don't make you feel good okay the fifth tip that i have for you is figuring out what things do make you feel good becoming self-aware is super super important in life and when we can learn how we work because so often or not we don't look inside we look outside for things when we can learn how we tick and we can learn what makes us feel good then that allows us to shift through the bad things that allows us to not react to things that we don't really want to react to that allows us to live more freely is is really what it comes down to we all want to be happy we all want to feel good we all want to have more peace in our life we all want those fucking that chatterbox in our head to shut up right well becoming self-aware is how we do this so things like for instance that make me feel good if you have things that you want to post below drop some things that you do on a daily basis that make you feel good so for me it's like putting my makeup on like i told you i was just laying in my bed and i'm like i need some energy i need to feel good and so i got ready and coming on live video also energizes me like that's something that makes me feel good i love coming on here i love sharing the knowledge that i have i love teaching other people, other women and helping other women like that raises me up. And so like, if I were to go for a couple days without going live, like I go live for you guys, but I also go live for myself, right? Because it raises my energy and it makes me feel better. So for me, like I, I could care less about doing my hair. I kind of just let it air dry the past couple days, but like the eyelashes, like I love putting eyelashes on. It makes me feel better. I love putting makeup on. It makes me feel better. I, I even got out of my sweatpants and I put some leggings on um, because I was feeling frumpy and the leggings made me feel better. So find the things that make you feel better and do that. For me, it's like working out always makes me feel better. And I'm not saying you have to punish yourself through workouts, but moving your body, getting outside, going for a walk, having a dance party, whatever is going to raise your energy and make you feel more confident is important. You are so good about bringing value to others. Thank you, Marianne. I appreciate you. You are also. Um, getting my nails done is something that brings me to, or actually I've been doing my nails. They look, I need to redo them, but I've been using my friend, um, Sophie. She sells Color Street. I love the little nail, nail things, um, but just having them done make me feel a little bit better. So whatever, it maybe doing your makeup doesn't make you feel good. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying do what I, what makes me feel good. I want you to do what is going to make you feel good and the things that will, can give you some instant gratification. Um, makeup, um, taking a shower, <laughs> maybe it is doing your hair, maybe it is going for luck, whatever is gonna kind of raise your energy, shift out those negative emotions and bring some good stuff in, do that for you. And if you guys have other examples than what I gave, drop them below so we can all help one another out because I know that all women struggle with body image stuff and we can help each other out through this, right? Um, I think that's something, I don't think that's is in here, but I think this is something else to remember too. Like almost every single woman deals with body image stuff. Almost every single woman deals with beating herself up. Almost every single woman has these struggles and if we can just be more kind to one another and start accepting one another i feel like as a collective that we can can change this like i i just i i this weekend i saw so many women um basically hey pamela how are you um i i saw a couple of women like body shaming people making fun of women for the things that they do you know just just random things but pretty much it was like fat shaming, body shaming, all of these things. They were making fun of me. They were making fun of somebody else. And it's just like, this is doesn't help the collective. And in fact, it's like, would you want to teach your daughter that if we could start accepting people for the way that they look, the way that they want to live their lives? Um, I think that we can make positive change with the world, right? Uh, and so I just, you know, and, and for me, like I'm used to having haters. I'm used to people coming out and attacking me and stuff. I just don't think that other people understand when they make posts like this or they share the funny memes or whatever, the damage that they are doing to other people. And it's very selfish to be judging somebody for the way that they look, right? So if we can start increase putting it out there where we can accept everybody for the way that they look and we can stop judging them, we could make a change as a collective. Okay, number six is start getting comfortable with yourself. So this is one of my favorite things that I teach um, in my wellness studio and also in More Than a Body is the mirror challenge. So while you're getting ready, I know I said stop body checking yourself, but this is not what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about body checking yourself, I'm talking about like standing in the mirror, 
like getting the right position to see how you look or grabbing your fat and like shaking it. Come on, who who's done that before? Like you grab your stomach and you're just like, oh, if I could just pinch this off, I would feel better. That's not what I am talking about. I want you to, if you can't get ready naked in the mirror, then don't do that. But this is what I do is I usually try to get ready as naked as possible. And I say nice things about myself into the mirror. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, this will help you so much. I send love to my body. I look at it. I, I, and it makes you feel so much better. I'm telling you, if you can get naked in the mirror and you can start saying positive affirmations to yourself while you're getting ready and you can point out the things that you're gratitude, you're, you're grateful for, for your body, and you can start loving different pieces of your body. You are going to see your, um, mindset shift so much quicker by doing this. And it's something that I try to practice every single day. I'll look at myself before I get in the shower naked. If I can't, you know, whatever, whatever time you have, do it. And, and start to get comfortable with your body. We have to unlearn how to, to hate ourselves. And this is how we learn how to love ourselves. And this is how we learn to stop bashing ourselves is we have to get comfortable with the way that we are. So another thing that really helps me is pictures and selfies. I take my phone, uh, all of the pictures that you guys see, other than the ones that I took with my friend Samantha, whenever I get to see her, I take by myself on my iPhone. I set up my iPhone. I put it on a timer or you could, you could set it up as a video and you can take screenshots. I'm not saying you need to post them all over the place. However, if you take these, you're going to start feeling better. Allow yourself to get in front of the camera. And I really think a thing that is important with this is take your own pictures because you are going to see yourself in a different light. When somebody takes it, a picture of me, like when my husband does, I'm like, this doesn't look right. I need to take it the way I want to take it. And, and from my side and Honestly, showing up and sharing this journey online has helped my confidence so much. And so I know that if taking some pictures, like if I'm having a bad body image day, I will get dressed and I will go take pictures because I will instantly feel better. I know that it sounds backwards. However, it doesn't. It kind of lifts you up because you can see the beauty in yourself. And when you can shift like that, it, it makes a world of a difference. Um what did I say? Oh, dancing, you know, maybe dancing with your kids in the living room or TikTok. TikTok has been so much fun for our family. And honestly, it's kind of raised my confidence a little bit. So if you're not on TikTok, I highly suggest getting over there. And if you are, let me know what your thing is so I can follow you, your, um, your account. Um, and just wear the damn clothes. This is something I learned from a friend of mine also is when you were getting dressed and you're like, I want to wear that because I know how women work. You go in that closet, you go to get dressed and you have your whole closet full of clothes on the floor, right? Well, I have a rule now is I can change twice and that is it. And then I have to wear the clothes or even most of the time it's like, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to wear. I'm going to put the clothes on and I'm going to walk out the door. This is part of the reason why, like I personally don't like getting ready until I'm ready to walk out the door because I don't want to change 18 million times because that just makes me feel uncomfortable. And so I've actually had, since I've implemented all of this stuff that I learned over the past year, had more, I have more fun now getting dressed than I did before when I was 30 pounds lighter, right? And it's, it's, it's because I've built up this love for my body, there's respect and the fact that I get to feel confident no matter what and getting dressed in clothes that actually fit me, that's a game changer, right? Because even when I was, um, losing weight or focused on controlling my body to stay a certain size, it never would because it doesn't want to, first of all, but it would be so, it would be such a struggle to find clothes that actually fit me right. They would either be way too big or way too small. And then I, you know, it just, it would be a hot mess. So find clothes that do fit you. Okay. Number seven is shift your focus from your body to your experiences. So have you ever been doing at a party or at a concert or at the beach or wherever you are with other people and you cannot you don't even like you're in the twilight zone you feel like where you are right now no i'm just kidding um you feel like you're in the twilight zone you can't even focus on what is going on you aren't making any memories because all you're thinking about is your body when this happens i want you to talk to yourself it is very very important that we stop listening to the chatter in our head and we start talking to ourselves so if you are in an experience, a moment where you should be making memories, you should be present, but all you can focus on is what your body looks like. I want you to tell yourself to shift your focus 
from your body to the memories that are being made right now because I can promise you in 10 years and five years and whatever, however many years it is, you aren't gonna remember the way your body looks. You are gonna remember the memories that are made and I have a story about this and I think I told it the other day, but in 2016 after I quit um, Adderall, I gained a lot of weight right away and we went to Disneyland and I just remember not even being able to be present during that trip. I mean, I, I, I was and I do remember a lot of it, but I do remember being focused on my body the entire time and I really wish that I could go back and apply everything that I know now and tell myself, be present, be here. They're only little ones. I need these memories, right? But no, one of the things I remember is like fidgeting with my clothes and 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 thinking about what all the other people are thinking about my body when all the other people were either thinking about their body too or, you know, ha making memories with their kids. But I was so consumed with it that I wasn't able to be present. And and so now it's like when that happens, I shift myself. And um, it was a, uh, back in January, I think I did a video talking about this where I, I did use this where I'm like, you need to shift here. We were at the Miranda Lambert concert and I did and it I had an amazing time and I, I made so many memories with my husband and my friends and everybody was there. I remember the entire thing. I don't ever remember thinking about my body except for when I first walked in, but I shifted. I told myself, stop, you have to move. So learn how to talk to yourself and be self-aware of the things that you are, are what's going on in here so that you can shift them and you can tell yourself, no, that's a lie. I'm going to tell you the truth. And this is what the truth is. Um, so always pivot to gratitude. That is super important. Number eight is, and I just kind of talked about that is self-awareness is key. Self-awareness is the catalyst that heals all, um, bringing things up into your awareness to say, okay, this is how I feel. This is why I'm triggered. If somebody is triggering you, I challenge you to be very curious about it and take a step back and say, why is this triggering me? Why are, or, you know, and, and how can I look at this differently instead of just reacting, instead of just pushing, pushing, um, feelings down is be curious about them and, and really, in and, and say like, how can I shift? Like what is going on deeper? Because usually when you are triggered by something or, um, something comes up and you're reacting, there's a deeper reason why you're reacting. And so it's important for you to be curious and not judge the things that are going on. You know, when I, when I talk about being self-aware, especially with your body image, it's like what sets you off on those bad body image days. I know for a fact that all of this stress and anxiety that was happening on Monday about the economy and, 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 and health and all of these things sent me on my bad body image day. It wasn't anything else. It was just the fact that it was easier for me to revert back to beating myself up when I was having those feelings than it was to love myself. And so I had, if I wouldn't have been self-aware about that, I probably would have went down a downward spiral this entire week. And then it would be two weeks and three weeks and whatever. So, however, I know how to shift. I know, and I talked about this in one of my videos in the um, Love Your Body Challenge about blowing up energy. You literally could take this energy that you have, watch it go up in the air and blow it up and give it away to, to God, to universe, whoever it is that you're talking to so that you can move on and you can live your truth. So being self-aware, um, figuring out what sets you off, creating boundaries, create boundaries around your social media, create boundaries around the conversations that you're having, create boundaries around the people that you are with. If somebody triggers you on social media, there is an unfollow, there is a mute button, there is an unfriend button, there is a block button. Whatever you need to do to protect your energy and the way that you feel, do it. You don't need permission from anybody else Rule number one, you are number one. This is the one life you have to live. And if you want to keep living it, beating yourself up, that is your choice. If you want to start loving yourself, if you want to start having more confidence, if you want to stand in your power, if you want to start creating the life that you absolutely want to live, that is also your choice. So you get to choose which way you want to live, right? Um, and then make plans. So using these tools, make a plan on how you can pivot when you do have a bad body image day, like have it already set into play so that you know, like when these thoughts come up that you can shift them and that you can pull these tools out of your toolbox and apply them on a daily basis, right? Number nine, um, get, so I talked about unfollowing people, but number nine would be creating a social media following that makes you feel good. Um, I actually have a list going on in my, my free community, Living Free and Fearless, 
where we're all dropping the social media accounts that make us, that inspire us, that empower us, that make us feel good, that don't trigger us. Because that is super important. I know like I have a couple um, Instagram accounts where I'm having bad body image days and I know if I can go to that account and I know um, like one of them they have on their highlights, it, it talks about their body. I can go there and watch that um, highlight reel on their Instagram and immediately feel better. So make sure you're feeling your social media or you have things that you can go to when you're feeling bad in order to fill you up. But that is important. Number 10 is own yourself. So we are not all put on this earth to be the same. I already talked about this. I would hope that we wouldn't all want to be the same. And you're allowed to own who you are. You're allowed to own the person, the body, the things that you like, the way that you want to live. You're allowed to own that. And I think that we look at other people and we want that, but we we see other people living their life and we see the fact that they're owning it. We see the fact that they feel good in their skin. We see the fact of all of this. But what we don't realize is like we want the feeling and what we go after is all of the outside things that they have. So we go after the income, we go after the rank, we go after the way the body looks, we go after whatever it is that they have, the travel or whatever. When deep down inside, it's not necessarily all of those outside things that we want. It's the feeling that they are exuding that we want. And when you can make, when you can realize that's what it is and you can figure out what it is that you actually want and how you want to live and you could own yourself, it just like, like life becomes so much more peaceful. It becomes so much more free. It becomes to where you're not constantly having all this chatter and, and talking bad about yourself. I'm not saying every day is going to be good because that's what I said in the beginning, but we can make conscious decisions to say, this is how I want to live. These are my priorities. These are my boundaries. This is how I'm going to show up in the world. And if other people don't like it, it's not my problem. And you know, you can own who you are. When you start to own the person that you are, you give permission to other women to own who they are. And that is the change that we need to see in the world. So that is the training that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to be launching two things tomorrow. Um, I have a self-paced course called the confidence revolution. I'm going to discount it. I'm going to be offering extended payment plans. In fact, it's going to be, uh, I, th it's just going to be 50 bucks. So it's going to be $25. You can pay $25 this month, $25 next month. Um, it is a three week course. You go through it on your own and I will do a live Q and a in April at the end of April. So everybody that joins now will get a live Q&A for me, but you get three trainings, you get um, 21 journal prompts, and it's really to help you unlock that confidence and step into your power. If you are looking for a deeper, deeper dive into this and you are wanting to really figure out who it is that you are, to learn to love yourself, learn to stand in your power, um, and, and really do the deep, deep inner work. Everything that I learned last year, everything that I went through, I teach in my group coaching program, More Than a Body. This is the closest you can get to me without doing like one-on-one -on -one coaching. So it's in a group setting. You're going to get live trainings each week. You're going to get um, um, where you can jump on a webinar with me and you can ask me questions and I can coach you through the things that you need to be coached through. There's going to be um, some guided meditations in there. It's just an amazing, amazing experience. So if you're interested in that, that is going to be launching tomorrow. I will have all the details in my free community, Living Free and Fearless. And I would love to see you guys join us and, and just really start to, to own who you are. I think we're living in a time where, where this is going to be important and we're going to have to own who we are in order to, you know, to move forward through this and, and not allow it to bring us down. And if you have extra time on your hands, I would say that this is a perfect time to be working on you and kind of get distracted from all of the media and stuff that's going on. So unless you guys have any questions, I hope you enjoyed this. If you know anybody who would benefit from seeing this, could you please share this video with them or tag them in the video? I would, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to be live in my free community later today for a live Q and a. So I will drop that as soon as I get off here. Um, I, I wish you guys, I like sending you guys all the love and light in, in positive vibes your way. And I hope you guys are all, um, hanging in there. All right. I love you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.